the first thing I did was to go up to the top and go to resorts. And then again, just wait. And it brings up this map of the United States. And you can either search in the location for a particular resort, but I just am searching for Washington, state of Washington. And then in the map, it'll show it to you. Now, you don't even have to put in the state. You could just um, get a section of the map, move it into your window, kind of like uh, Zillow, I think. Anyway, um, and then it'll search that part of the map for the resorts. And then I clicked on Banff, and you can see it. And it, there's a part that says View Monthly Availability for each resort. If you click on that, you get sort of the uh, old four-month overview of resorts, only now it's a two-month. So you still have to select your um, type of unit. So I'm going to pick a studio. And then it'll show you the calendar be below, kind of like Airbnb. And if it's grayed out, it's not available. And if it's black, it's available. And you can just kind of see, like in April here, there's two that are grayed out. The rest of them are black, so they would be available. <coughs> and if you pick a different kind of unit, well, then the calendar adjusts for it. So let's say you've decided to have a check-in. You, you want to, to reserve one. So you just go to um, select your check-in and check-out dates on the calendar. And then when it says uh, to view available suites, it just means of that size unit, how many are available. So I'm just clicking February 7th. I'm going to check out the 12th and there's one two-bedroom available, and then you can book it. If I look at the hotel, uh, one-bedroom hotel, then I click again on the dates. I have to find ones that have availability. Hurry, there's less than three suites available, and that's it.